Okay. Hello and welcome. My name is Efi Mao and I'm a supply chain manager here at Weave Services. Today I'll be with you for the next 25 minutes or so to give you some details about our BI services, Weave BI Insights, as well as giving a live demonstration of one of our supply chain dashboards. I'll be focusing on our plug and play inventory management package, which combines our decades of supply chain expertise with cloud-based dynamic visualization technology to provide a rapidly implementable and scalable BI solution within two weeks. Before I go into details, let me give a little context about Wii services and my team, the replenishment and analytics division. Weave Services is a management consultancy owned by TAL Group, a best-in-class apparel manufacturer with over 70 years experience in the industry. Um, within Weave, we have three divisions. Consulting, which focuses on solving supply and demand problems clients have. Capability building, which focuses on sustaining impact through coaching and change management and my division, replenishment and analytics, focused on providing insight at your fingertips. Within replenishment and analytics, we have three primary service lines. The first, replenishment services, consists of outsourced planning activities. Think VMI, vendor managed inventory from raw materials to retail stores. The second, advanced analytics, goes along the lines of um, enhanced an outsource analytics center of excellence. We'll work with clients to investigate and build analytical models for business cases of interest to them. For example, we've built markdown optimi optimizers and forecasting models for some of our previous clients. Finally, there's the business intelligence service line, which focuses on business reporting and maximizing the value and actionability of your data. The business intelligence line is the one we'll be focusing on today's webinar. So why use Weave to supplement your current reporting practices? It really depends on where your organization is along its analytical journey, but we've listed some common reasons below. If you're at a large organization with a fairly mature analytics team, some benefits could be to gain, industry, to gain access to industry benchmarking data, get new perspectives on your data, or simply to easily blend your data for analysis from a variety of your existing legacy systems. Alternatively, if you're at a smaller organization, this could be a good opportunity to rocket boost your analytics efforts and get insights which you may not have had the time or manpower to explore on your own. All in all, our dashboards serve to augment your analytics capabilities. So what does our product Weave BI Insights consist of? Generally, there's two types of packages. The first is a fully customized set of reports where a team from Weave will spend an extended amount of time with your organization and create a suite of tailored dashboards to meet your unique business needs. The second is our plug and play supply chain health dashboards. These are standardized industry best practice dashboards which easily integrate on top of your existing systems and can be set up and run within two weeks. For both types of packages, Weave provides guidance from supply chain consultants to discover insights and drive actions, as well as analytics consultants for best practices to manage your data. The key benefits of our dashboard packages include visualizations tailored in a way to promote decision making and at a glance identification of supply or demand issues. In addition, the blending of multiple sources of data should give you a more comprehensive view on business performance. All packages typically come with a small setup fee and a monthly subscription. Today, I'm going to discuss in detail the inventory management package of our plug and play dashboard solutions, as most analysis of the supply chain health begins with understanding the inventory situation. The first dashboard, the end-to-end -end inventory visibility dashboard, blends all inventory data from factories to stores to give a complete 360 degree view of your inventory liability. In addition, it provides differentiated analysis between fashion one-off items and evergreen replenishment styles. This report can quickly break down the inventory situation from a global view to a specific SKU in a particular store within a few clicks. The second dashboard, the factory reorder dashboard, helps optimize a planner's reorder decision. It takes in variables such as forecasted demand, 
budgets, and lead times to calculate optimal SKU quantities to reorder. Instead of having a planner recalculate uh, orders by hand and in intuition, the dashboard can analyze the entire assortment in a single pass. This becomes a priority, especially for seasonal products where you may only have one or two chances to replenish before the store the season ends and you go on markdown. The third dashboard in the inventory management package is the store replenishment dashboard. This dashboard reports on store and DC inventory levels. It takes into account current inventory positions and forecasted demand to recommend replenishment quantities. In addition, it alerts the user to styles which are dangerously low on cover, underperforming, or old. Of the three dashboards I've mentioned, the store replenishment dashboard is the most tactical, helping augment planners work in their daily and weekly tasks. Taken together, the inventory management package identifies where in the supply chain potential inventory issues are occurring, as well as enhancing the information planners and analysts have at their fingertips for key ordering and replenishment decisions. In a minute, I'll be live demonstrating the end-to-end -end inventory visibility dashboard. But before that, let me give some context. How the end-to-end -end inventory visibility dashboard works is it takes existing inventory, forecast, and shipment information and blends it all together in a clean, unified view in Click. As a client, you would simply provide the data in whatever format you, it's currently stored in. A copy of the data is kept in a secure AWS bucket, which you have full access rights to, so you maintain control of the data, and we do all the hard work of cleaning and blending the data. After we've done so, we calculate KPIs and measure the results against industry benchmarks as well as your internal targets. The resulting dashboard file is then shared with you, and you'll have the full benefits such as 360-degree visualization of your inventory, and alerts and insights to issues affecting core and fashion SKUs. Now for the moment you've been waiting for. I'll demonstrate the end-to-end -end inventory visibility dashboard in Click. To access the dashboard, users will go to a website, dashboard.weavenow.com, where you'll be prompted for a username and password. Once it's entered, it'll take you to the hub where you can see all of the dashboards that you'll have access to. So as we enter the end-to-end -end inventory visibility dashboard, on the very first page, you'll be able to see that we have broken down the inventory liability at every stage of the supply chain, from open factory orders to finished products in stock at stores. The inventory is shown in both unit and value terms, so you can easily see where potential bottlenecks are. In addition, down below, you see various filters, which can be applied to your business. These filters range from geographies, warehouses, to product types and product classifications. These are the types of filters which will be adjusted to match your business's supply chain setup. So from the very first page, the user will be able to identify which branch of the supply chain needs the most urgent attention. Now let's move on to the second page, the dashboard which contains more detailed insights. On the first page, we were able to identify which step of the supply chain requires attention. But on the second page, we have the ability to narrow down to the individual SKUs at a particular store which require attention. So at the very top of the page, the waterfall from page one has been broken down into individual number numbers and KPIs indicating the health of overall inventory levels and how the situation relates to your open to buy budget.
All the figures are conditionally formatted to your organization's targets and industry benchmarks. Then down below, there are various tables and charts, which on the left help drive seasonal inventory decisions, and on the right help monitor the health of core replenishment programs. For example, on the left, we have a table of every style color. Think a particular red dress. And with it, we show in stock rate and weeks of supply to determine if the style is in stores at the at, at adequate stock levels, the remaining forecasted demand compared to the quantity ordered to see if we have bought enough, and the per delivery percentage with the time time until the season end to see if the stock has delivered in time to sell at a good margin. One of the cool features of Click is we've designed the table in a way so that after you've drilled down and identified the styles that are of interest to you, it'll automatically break down into the SKU level. So you can do style, color, size analysis if you want. In addition, if your analyst or planner wants to keep working in this with this data, everything in the dashboard is exportable as an image or an Excel spreadsheet. Below the style level analysis, we also have tables breaking down the inventory situation at a regional level as well as by store. So users can quickly see how the current inventory situation stacks up in relation to upcoming demand. Now, on the right hand side, the analysis for core replenishment products is slightly different as the nature of the products is more of maintaining long term steady inventory and sales levels. Therefore, the first chart we've created is a toggleable chart comparing sell-through or lost sales compared to in-stock rates. The bubbles start off at a product category level, but quickly break down into subcategories, such as styles once you click them. This allows users to identify which replenishment programs are underperforming and see the effect inventory has on that performance. Below that, we show the in-stock rate by store, so planners can focus on the particular stores which are under or overstocked and address those issues. So in conclusion, within two pages, a user can identify where in the supply chain they should focus their efforts, and then depending on the product type, can focus their energies down to an SKU store warehouse level to resolve their issues. They can export their findings from the Click dashboard to use in presentations or emails to drive actions without having to spend hours gathering, cleaning, and building visualizations. So now that you've got an idea of the look and feel of these types of dashboards we have to offer at Weave, let's talk about data. The key idea is with our dashboard packages, you don't have to buy any new systems. Our cloud-based tools seamlessly integrate with your existing data sources. On the left, you can see all the data formats our tools are compatible with, encompassing everything from Excel spreadsheets to ERP system data formats. Then on the right, as an example, we've listed the types of business data required for the end-to-end -end inventory visibility dashboard you just saw. As you can see, the data we use is fairly standard information you likely already have easy access to. The end-to-end -end inventory visibility dashboard was just an example of a single dashboard in one of our problem-solving dashboard packages. In addition, to dashboard packages aimed to break down issues in your supply chain, we also provide two other types of reporting services. The first, we have automated reporting, where we use our tools to automate time-consuming manual reports you're currently running to ensure more accurate data and speed your analysis cycle. We also have machine learning augmented dashboards for when you're ready to take that next step and apply machine learning techniques to your data. 
Some of those use cases include generating more accurate forecasts, optimizing your markdowns, and optimizing your replenishment patterns. Of course, if you find any of your pain points extend beyond reporting and analytics, we also have capability building and management consulting teams to assist. So how do you get started on your analytics journey with Weave? I'm happy to report it's a relatively painless process taking approximately two weeks from end to end. Through this webinar, our website, and other informational materials, you probably have an idea if our BI package is right for you. When you're ready to start, one of our consultants will send you a data readiness self-assessment, which takes roughly an hour to determine if you have all the data easily accessible to make full use of our dashboards. If the answer is yes, our consultant will work with you to determine how we will customize our dashboards to fit your supply chain and provide the most insight to you. The second process takes approximately a week. Then after the contract is signed, our team will set up all the infrastructure. Our default is to use a client-specific AWS virtual private cloud, but we're flexible to your needs. We'll then work with you to upload all the data and create and run the dashboard for the first time. We'll review in detail with you the dashboard after the first run and identify the key insights the data shows. After that, we provide weekly dashboard refreshes and a monthly review with the Weave consultant on key indicators, clarifications, and follow-up actions. If you're worried about how much time it takes to refresh the dashboards, the longest we've ever seen a single client dashboard take to refresh is two hours, with most completing within 20 minutes. So before I conclude, let me talk about pricing for our dashboard packages. The inventory management package I described earlier comes with a one-time setup fee of $10,000 US dollars and a monthly subscription of $1,500, or just $500. With this, you get access to everything listed on the left side of the slide. So beyond simply access to the dashboard, you have full access to dedicated AWS buckets used to store your data. Our consultants will spend time with your team to work out any issues in setting up the dashboards, and the cleaned and blended data set underlying the dashboards is available for your analysis as well. In addition, when the dashboards are refreshed, we have checks built in to identify any anomalies in your data. Regarding viewing, the Click dashboards will be available for you to view on any device, whether it's your laptop, phone, or tablet. All you need is a working internet connection and a web browser to view your dashboards. Finally, a consultant will review your dashboards on a monthly basis and provide a monthly report, giving additional insights to your business. On top of the monthly reviews, the package also includes four in-detail sessions at your convenience to cover whatever issues you may be concerned with, whether technical or business related regarding the dashboards. Additional dashboards only add a small cost, roughly 50 US dollars per month to the monthly subscription fee with no additional setup costs. And we give discounts with term commitments. So this concludes our webinar on Weave BI Insights and how our dashboard packages work. I'll now open the floor to Q&A for a few minutes before we end the webinar. Okay, so the first question that I've seen is someone has asked, what if my supply chain network and KPIs don't mirror what's demonstrated? Well, that's okay. So let me address the KPI question first. We've built these dashboards based on industry best practices. So the odds are you're most likely already using most, if not all of the KPIs, which we will be putting into the dashboards. And during the setup consultations, we'll work with you to make sure we agree on the exact calculations and the logic as well as the reasoning behind each and every one of the KPIs. Typically, adjustments to the KPIs, if they're needed at all, take roughly half a day to process and shouldn't result in any interruption to the target two-week setup time, which we have. As for supply chain network differences, 
as long as you store the inventory somewhere and that location is captured accurately in your data, we can provide visibility on that inventory. Everything in our dashboards has been built in a modular way so that even if you go directly from factories to stores, keep everything in warehouses to sell online or some other supply chain setup, our dashboards have the flexibility to track those changes. What you saw earlier was just a demonstration of a typical supply chain setup. But on the back end, our dashboards have the flexibility to understand your store and product hierarchies. All right. Uh, the second question I've seen come through is concerning accessibility and security. Someone has asked, the accessibility and ease of use of the dashboards seems great, but how do you secure the data? So that's another great question. And let me attempt to give you an answer. So when we set up a Weave BI Insights dashboard for you, the default option is to set up, our default option is to set up every, all the backend infrastructure on AWS. We create a client-specific S3 bucket, think a share drive or OneDrive, on a virtual private cloud. So only you and Weave can access the data you upload for the dashboards. So the stored data is safely secure behind Amazon's firewalls, as well as other security measures. Um, the next question you might be asking is, what about data security during the upload or download process? And for that data, we can say that the S3 bucket is accessed through a Nextcloud interface, which is essentially a web portal, which has been secured with an SSL certificate. So any data in transit is secure. And lastly, you will have full access to the Nextcloud 24 seven. So you can go in, modify and delete any information whenever you want. So you remain in full control. All right, let me let, see if there's any more questions. All right, so the third question that I have seen, someone else has asked that the dashboards look great and the information seems really useful, but how do I get my insights out of Click? Of course, we don't want you to be locked into Click for your data analysis. So there's actually two ways to get your data outside of Click. Um, the first is that the Click has the ability to export any visualization out of Click itself as a PDF image or CSV. I demonstrated the CSV during the webinar, but you can actually just export the chart picture if you want as well. Um, the other way is just through obtaining the raw data itself. So the way the dashboards are work is you've already shared with us the raw data required to populate the dashboards. But what we do is we do the job of cleaning and calculating the KPIs to make that information more insightful. So whenever that's done, we actually upload the clean data sets back into the Nextcloud to populate the Click dashboards. So at any given time, those clean data sets are available to you to download for your analysts and data scientists to use. And those are normally stored as a TXT file. Okay, so I see it's 3.25. We're running up against the promised time for our webinar. So I'm gonna end the questions there. But if you have any more questions about our dashboard services, please email us at analytics at weavenow.com. I wanna thank you all for joining us on the webinar today. I promise that one of our consultants will respond within one business day to any and all queries. And additionally, more content on Weave BI Insights can be found on our website, as well as through our LinkedIn page. So thank you again for attending our webinar, and I hope you have a lovely weekend, and we hear from you soon. Thank you.